slide. Go back to punk. How I look, guys. Kanye West looking at I like Kanye West. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My homeboy Angel don't want to be in the picture, so we're going to be rebuilding the actual, what's this thing called? The VU4. The VU4, uh, I don't even know what it's called. From Acura. The Acura VU4. Uh, they actually sent him a kit, actually for free. It's really simple. Don't know if y'all want to watch this, but we're going to show you how to do it anyway. And then we're going to add a line on uh for his hey i gotta drill a hole in the wood huh or is it a hole down there already for what to to no i'm just i'll just hide it down there oh you just hide it? okay back, and then whenever i need i'll just pull it okay and then we're gonna uh add a drain line a longer drain line for his actual tank can't wait till i get mine uh, i am going with accuware as well so uh and that's pretty much it it's really self-explanatory, but we'll go along and do the stuff right now. Why'd you get towels? Yeah. Why'd you get towels? I was gonna do that one. Oh yeah. In the kitchen table. Alright, first thing I had to do is take off the rubber band. Flip it that way. 14. Fourteen inch, right? Yeah, fourteen inch. Loosen up, and it's light. Loosen up. All right, guys. This is a fourteen inch. You just use that to loosen them up. They're real easy to loosen up. <laughs> oh damn okay so after you do that you flip it over from what that guy said and then you take them off hold them claws down hold up these down there you go alright and you don't have to touch that no more Where's a tool? So this is, you don't have to touch these no more guys. Those, you gotta make sure these little washer things are on top as they are, just making sure. So you don't have to touch that no more. And then they uh, actually send you a tool that goes in. The box they send you with all this. Hopefully I'm gonna show you how to do this. So this is a tool kit that I just sent you. And this is what you're replacing right here. This is what's actually making the valves leak. And this is the tool you need to unloosen these. And it's just like really simple. Supposed to be simple. Right there. No, it's good right there. So you go on the second little notches and then you just loosen them up and that's it still got air in there angel really trying to kill me <laughs> the fuck you let your shit all the way well it should have been all the way up huh no put that in here wow this boy trying to blow up my damn house let's make v6 bridge again all right, guys, so we're going to let the air out real fast. We'll be right back. All right, hopefully the air is out. I don't know what happens if air is in this, so we should be putting on safety goggles. Put my hand on top of it in case I'm going to want to shoot on. Nothing. All right, guys, so this is the stuff. These are the little things that we're replacing right here. These right here. All right, we're gonna put these separate from everything else. Yeah, that's it right 
that? Ooh. What is that? Paper? Debris, that's what Acura told me. They so, emailed me. That's what's probably, guys, one of them that's making a leak. The actual debris, as you can see right there. Oh, that's that plastic. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a fit a line, right? Yeah. So I don't know if y'all can see this. Still I might have to get a, I might have to get a flathead. So look, that's a piece of line probably coming from the line. That's what's making it stop. I mean, that's what's making it stop from closing. So here's the new one, guys. They already come with the little springs on there. So he's just basically cleaning them off. And I just insert them in. And dang it, you feel better too. And then you, then you repeat the process. Yeah, we might do that 12 by one. Drop it. All right, guys, so we're finishing. We're finished. All the connections, they're hand tight, so nothing is loose, as y'all can see. Um, what we did notice versus the old ones, the springs are like really jumpy and the other ones were stiff. So hopefully that would help them better lifting and stuff. And this goes back on top. You gotta get in the hole just like that. Flip it back over, then you take your actual bolts and you put them back on top and you use a 14 millimeter like I said before. And you tighten them up. Really simple to rebuild these. guys so we are finally finished with dropping the drain line which comes from an 18 wheeler as you can see so basically all he has to do is pull this and as y'all see the water is already there he's going to run this underneath where the spare tire goes this is for a 300 but the same chunk as a charger so that's pretty much it for the video guys Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you need any, if you need, if you have any questions, comment below. Give me a like. Give me a share. Give me a follow. This is Robert YouTuber on the budget. Peace. May six V six great again, guys. Don't forget that. Oh, that boy look light skinned.